is just time. So is it wrong to dance this life? If your heart um, my name is David Bueno, popularly known as Gospel, um, and I do spoken word. I'm 19 years of age. Explaining spoken word is quite difficult. Um, some people call it modern poetry, some people call it um, a different tone of rap, but I define spoken word as, I define spoken word as still poetry, because I think spoken word is something that people can listen to and understand what the speaker is saying and feel exactly what the speaker is saying. With, when I say that you are my African queen That's why I wrote this for my fellow black people See no need for too much make up because Why you people are call me gospel? Um, gospel is my ministry name As I said earlier I'm called David Gospel is my ministry name and something that um, suits what I do and uh, People like to call me gospel but I think it was inspired by God definitely in thy 16-year-old black belly lies a new black baby. It's your untimely blessing, see, just love her dearly, that ungodly night. As I said, spoken word is similar to rap, so I, I am a rapper, I'm still a rapper. But right now, it's spoken word that I do as uh, my main thing. So I started spoken word quite early, but not too early, sometime senior high school. Yeah, sometimes so just a couple of years ago two three I can't really tell but that's when I started spoken word I'm Christian and I love my pastor pastor Chris and um, Iraq Iraq is someone who has mentored me in a lot of ways although he's not a spoken word artist he has taught me a lot of things to do with ministry and to do with um, getting on stage and understanding how to connect with the crowd a lot of things that he has mentored me. well i also do videography filmmaking i love filmmaking it's a side thing i do i love filmmaking and i love um, dslr guide he mentors me in a lot of ways um i do a lot of things i do a lot of things spoken words is one of the main things that's out there and um uh, um, for the spoken word aspect, I'll, I'll mention just a couple. Jefferson, Beth Take, um, uh, Sully Breaks, and the major guys out there, the Ghanaians, 100%, Poetra, Akotoa, Simon, uh, the whole Rainmakers crew, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people. God is so beauty twin to Aphrodite. Those nights by the fireside, you told us tales of a negro losing his dignity to a goddess mistaken for beauty. But the truth is, her real name was slavery. So far, I'm not getting paid for what I do. It's something that I'm just starting. So uh, I look out for that in the near future, but that's not really what I'm looking at. But when I go into it full time, I. I do believe that it will be necessary. <laughs> I have to eat something. <laughs> I love to go to Rainmakers. I love to perform at Rainmakers because it's, it's a place that I can connect with people who do what I do. It's a place that you get to meet people who also do spoken word. And no matter how far they've gone with poetry, they still relate to you as if it's, 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 it's like a family. So I, I would say Rainmakers show is one of the best platforms I've been to, and yeah, so I'll, I, I would say Rainmakers. But I do look out for in the near future. I do look out to being a spoken word artist. Titanic had a captain. Together we stand, but together we fell. Shout out to Africa, hope this rings a bell. Based on our facts and history, black pride was broken as hell. For golden gunpowder, our souls and bodies we sell. But was it worth it? Was it worth it? Yeah, 1863, picture there's no camera. As most of us know, Ashesi is not really, it's not really a place where you find it easy with education because we, we are very keen on that. So uh, managing spoken word with studies is, it's, it's, it's a bit difficult sometimes, but you have to learn how to be time conscious. You have to learn how to be able to study with the minimum time you have and also Get, get get to do the things that you love. So 
well they do push us into these things but you have to look out for 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 for, for being time conscious so i would advise time consciousness as a major thing in managing anything not not just your hobbies with education but even in general life i mean people do two jobs people do three jobs it's not something that's difficult you just have to discipline yourself with legendary people the big six ensuring us that our independence is fixed kofi annan making Ghana support in many ways in very different ways um friends are very supportive when it comes to me doing spoken word i mean um, I've started organizing a couple of shows and they do come every time. They are my friends, but they still buy tickets <laughs> just to support. And um, um, I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful for everybody who is actually pushing me into this and understanding my passion is something that I am looking out for uh, with good reasons. And my parents are very supportive. <laughs> very. <laughs> Very is kind of catchy, but um, um, yeah, they are supportive. They, they, they. My dad has driven me to a show once, um, paid for some videos, so I, I would say that's supportive. So yeah, I'm thankful I for that. I call it the estuary of love because you drained my tears like a greedy poo bear with this last honey jar, love so dear. And again, I say, years go by. Our hearts don't change, only gets bigger, the bigger the better, besides love conquers all tumor. So madam, I must confess that I admire every bit of your sense. As I mentioned, I'm Christian and I, it's, it's something that I believe God has called me into. So it's something that I always put out to God whenever I'm having difficulties, whenever I encounter something that is kind of heavy, um, I, I just pour out to God and just trust him to take hold of every day and I think that's the best advice I can give every, anyone at all, anyone at all. I think that's the best advice anyone I can give anyone. Just trust in God in whatever you're doing and do pray about it and yes, just try for it. Um, I think I really love about doing spoken word and and, and everything is, is, is that people have come to know. What I find very memorable is when every time I connect with my team, I have a team of poets, Poetic Justice Society, and every time I connect with these people, I just, I just feel at home. I just feel like this is what I'm supposed to be. This is what I'm supposed to do. And they are the people who honestly keep, keep, give, give me the, the I hope I'm trying to find the perfect word, give me the hope. Because I know poetry is something that is not so accepted in Ghana, to be precise, and and I, I do look out I do look out to changing that with these people. So anytime I connect with my team, I, I just I just feel at home. I just feel like there there is hope for spoken words. So yes, honestly, I I don't I don't, I don't have much regrets in any of these things I do because I feel like anything that happens is for a reason. Anything that happens is a stepping stone, you know, when, when it's difficult. So I believe that all, all these things are actually good. So no matter how bad it is, no matter the number of times I have to strive to get a ride to a show, <laughs> I, no matter, you know, the things that come my way, um, money to pay for videos, um, organizing shows, the costing and everything. In the end, we actually pull through, so it's not like it's impossible. So I don't call them bad, I just, I just call them stepping stones. So um, it's, it's all good, it's all good, yeah. People should expect more spoken word from gospel. <laughs> People should expect a lot more videos from me. I'm trying to be consistent with the videos I do. I'm trying to be um, very, very consistent with these things. I'm looking out for making videos more because I know that's what catches attention very easily. So you guys should expect more videos from me and um, more projects from gospel. We were immersed, sinking deep to the core. Even Titanic had a captain. Together we stand, but together we fell. Shout out to Africa, hope this rings a bell. Based on our facts in history, black pride was broken as hell. For gold and gunpowder, our souls and bodies we sell. But was it worth it? Was it worth it? Year 1863, picture this no camera. 
What Frederick Douglass said today, we cease to work for the other man, so drop your catalyst and hope that finally your negro can own a condo if freedom and justice is our new motto. We should be riding off to sunset. <laughs> Martin Luther King had a dream to heal the African destiny, and so Linky revealed an unsealed with a signature and a seal, making Luther's dream a reality. Chains fell apart and cheeks were stained with tears of joy for this kind of amnesty. That freedom was no longer a fantasy. But looking at how things are now, are we really free? And so I asked myself, was the African freedom a false ecstasy? The tools and struggles only left us thirsty for more year 1874, the Sagranti War. Even after slavery, our minds were still held in captivity. Year 1900, the Yas and a war. We prioritized the wrong things, driven by the tides like fish with our fins. But in all, we can still boast of our legendary people. The big six ensuring us that our independence is fixed. Kofi Annan making Ghana proud at the level of UN. JJ Rollins, Osibisa, Komlajumo, and the legendary hero of Ghana, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. And so, that place they look down on, I grew up into. Where I didn't really prepare anything for this, but I hope to just come up with something. Okay, we start. I'm poetic, poetry in my veins, thick like a grown tumor, but guess what, I don't need a paramedic, because my heart was relatively colder than the Arctic, just floating and rolling in heat of soap and plastic, but wait, wait, this poetry is different, inspired by the Holy Ghost, this poetry is breathing. I used to be camping with Lazarus till I heard a voice mandating that this poetry is living.